Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Starlord and uh, yeah, so settlement building, was it actually worth it? So Fallout 4 had given us a pretty great system in which we could actually sort of customize the world around us and today I thought I wanted to talk a little bit about the settlement system and the following, was it successful? Did they need the workshop DLC? And do I think that, you know, settlement building should be implemented into the Fallout series again, or even the Elder Scrolls series? Okay, so let's get straight in and ask, was it actually successful? Now, I know a whole load of people absolutely hated this aspect of Fallout, and I even know a couple of people who actually completely quit the game due to it being necessary at times to actually complete one or two quests. I know, it sounds crazy, right? Now, besides from the hate, there is a huge amount of people who actually loved it. Heck, people even made livings from it. The evidence is right here on YouTube. People gathered, created, and shared all of their greatest builds, and they're not only beautiful to actually look at, but I enjoy watching those creators build them. Just look at No Respawns' videos, for example. They're absolutely great. I love him talking about the settlement building mode, and his builds are absolutely amazing, and he makes, you know, sort of a living from that. That is great. Now moving on, I don't actually know what the foundations for bringing this building aspect to Fallout was. Maybe it was the huge success of Minecraft and the realization that people actually liked building things, whether that be stupid things or really monumental buildings. Some may find that crazy that I'm even mentioning Minecraft in a Fallout game, but there is evidence. Just look at the memory quest in, you know, the new Far Harbor DLC. There is actually square placeable blocks. Now, I know that could just be a coincidence or that could just be a design aspect that the creators went to go with, but still, look at the Contraptions Workshop DLC. It kind of reminds me an awful lot of Scrap Mechanic. Now, Scrap Mechanic is a huge game at the minute, so I kind of feel like Bethesda has taken a lot from other games to make their own, and personally, I think it pays off, but with a little price to pay. So what is this price that I'm actually talking about? Well, originally Bethesda said at E3 that you would never need to use the settlement building aspect of the game if you didn't want to. They said that it wouldn't be necessary, but that wasn't completely true. As I mentioned earlier, at times it was actually necessary to go into the settlement building mode to complete one or two missions. So I think the most notable one here is the Demas Memory Game, in which people went into a virtual reality type kind of thing, and they actually had to use the settlement building aspect to actually build blocks across and kind of destroy the viruses in this system that you actually was inside of, and it got glitched up so much, and it actually prevented a lot of people from progressing in the Far Harbor DLC, and, you know, that was... That was pretty annoying. I had a lot of comments actually like people were really, really angry about that aspect that they had been forced into to actually, you know, enjoy their paid content. And yeah, that is really annoying. On the subject of annoying things, let's talk about the workshop DLCs. So when Bethesda originally announced the season pass, they said we would basically get bang for our buck. Now soon after, the realization came about that three of the six DLCs was actually for a building mode that some people didn't even want. Everybody got angry. Heck, I love the settlement building mode, but even I was angry. Now, I love the fact that they actually added in more items. I just didn't appreciate the fact that they actually included those DLCs in the season pass. So I believe that the Workshop DLCs should have been some kind of optional standalone DLC that you actually had the choice of buying, not something that you were forced into, you know, having once you bought a £40 or $60 pass. That's where I really think they messed up. So some of you are probably thinking, well, what are you talking about? The Workshop DLCs can be bought standalone. Yes, they actually can, but... They never mentioned that three of the six DLCs you would get in that season pass would be, 
you know, workshop DLCs. Now, that is where they have pulled a dick move because at E3, they knew that people would not like this building mode. They actually said it. They said, if you do not like the building aspect of the game, you do not have to use it. You will not be forced into using it. So they knew that some people would actually hate it, but yet they still put three of those DLCs into a season pass in which they knew people would actually buy and that is a big dick move come on you can't deny it it's a fucking dick move moving on i want to talk about if i think this settlement building mode should be implemented into future fallout or even elder scroll series games and i think yes I believe that there was so much freedom with actually creating your own settlement. It gave players a sense of survival and that the protagonist was, you know, wants to rebuild and help people in this post-apocalyptic world. Now, I don't know how it would work in an Elder Scrolls games, but it's Bethesda. It just works, you know, people, they will think of a reason to actually implement that building mode into that game. But seriously, I think Bethesda need to work on this a little bit more, and they need to make it fair. Make it so there's absolutely no need to use that settlement building mode unless people actually want to, whether that's in the base game or in the DLC. Make it so we have the option, the only option, to actually buy these extra items, these extra workshop items, if we want to. Do not tuck it away in a season pass, which you know people will buy, but they probably hate that aspect of the game. You really need to be fair about this and think about the players, Bethesda. Truthfully, I really did believe that those DLCs, those workshop DLCs should have been free anyway. I didn't actually like that I was paying for items that were already in the game, such as chairs, tables, stupid shit like that. Now, I could actually understand the, you know, the contraptions DLC because that was new mechanics actually added into the game. That's acceptable in my eyes, but the small addition of a few items made me feel like I just bought a load of useless gems in a fucking mobile app and that is not a good thing to say about a console game these days. It is not. All in all, yes, I believe they should implement these things again, whether that's in Fallout or the Elder Scrolls series. Now, do they actually need to work on things? Fuck yeah, damn right they do. And the guys on the drawing board really need to start now, and they really need to be fair. Now, do I believe they will succeed in all this? I think yes, I actually have faith in them, but in the future, we need more story-based DLC, not silly stuff. I mean, it's fun to use for a couple of days, but there was so much missed opportunity in Fallout 4, like the memory den. You guys could have explored that so much. I wanted to know more about the memory den, but you just did not do anything with it. And that was just a lost cause. But yeah, guys, I think that has pretty much been it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? It's all your opinion. It's my opinion. You know, everybody has their opinion. If you want to actually message me on my Twitter where I can reply easier and faster, then feel free. It's in the description. But anyhow, that has been all from me and my thoughts. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya.